Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's Alliance War Season 31, and this is War Number 6, I believe. And looks like the alliance we're going up against is WAG Brotherhood. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, their defense. I take Path 3 in Sections 1 and 2. All right, so no defender on that first node, which is normal, um, very common. We've got Sentinel. As soon as I see someone like Sentinel, I want to bring in Corvus. Uh, but then we also have Omega, I mean, um, Korg, who I'm thinking of bringing in Omega Red for, because he is a very good counter for Korg. Uh, don't know if I'll do that. Uh, here we have a Havoc. That could be annoying. Um, especially with the EMP modification on that. Normally I would just say Warlock and I would uh, go, you know, that way. Uh, I could also bring in Nick Fury and just blitz him down. You know, pop a, a invulnerability and just go ham. Straight, don't back up. Don't do anything, but just go straight. Try and do as much damage as possible. Then we've got Colossus, which is a Corvus trap on that node. Uh, I like to bring in Black Widow Clairvoyant for him. Then we've got Nebula. Corvus could do that. And we have Thing. I don't know who I would bring in other than Nick Fury and try to avoid the, uh, was it, Buffet? Yeah. Not a great option for Thing on that node. Uh, Warlock would be better for uh, fighting Thing on that node. So if I do bring Warlock in, I might be able to take him. But um, right now I'm thinking of Corvus, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and one other. So, uh, Spider-Man 2099, I don't know how well he would do against this uh, Magneto uh, boss. I've never fought him. He might do fine. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure who they've banned either. So, what I might end up doing, uh, Corvus... Black Widow Clairvoyant, and maybe Omega Red, who I have not brought into war for a long time. And I think they could handle... Yeah, they could handle my paths, plus that mini. You know, if I don't have Nick Fury, can't do that. And let's see on Mini Boss Island here. Um, ooh, I see uh, Bishop. I'm thinking that uh, we need someone to bring in uh, specific counters for some of these guys. Because the team I'm thinking of bringing in, I don't see anyone that would be especially good against some of these guys. Okay, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I might not be able to uh, help a whole lot here. You know, if I brought in Warlock instead of um, Omega Red, maybe. Uh, Omega Red could do some of... I guess he could do some of these... Man, it's been so long since I've used Omega Red. Uh, I'm not sure how, how well he would do. Uh, he would do fine against that Nick Fury. Uh, I know that I can beat Nick Fury with uh, Omega Red. Uh, Icarus, I've never fought that node with Omega Red. So I'd be a little wary about that. Now, if I brought in a Warlock... 
he'd be able to maybe do that thing fight. But I might not be able to do that one. So it looks like I might have to choose who to bring in and which mini I want to take. And I'm thinking Omega Red, clear out that mini. And clear out this path. And maybe help with that Nick Fury up there as well. That's what I'm thinking right now. All right. Let's uh, get to the fighting. All right. So we are going to go in here with Corvus, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Omega Red. You see Human Torch, Quake, and uh, Ghost were banned. Wasn't planning to bring any of those in, so doesn't really matter. All right, the fight that I was really looking forward to with a little bit of apprehension was the Omega Red uh, versus uh, Korg fight. All right, but in any case, we don't have anyone on that first node. And I want you to notice I am the first one over there. And there's a reason I'm mentioning that. Uh, so the first fight is Sentinel. And of course, we're going to uh, bring in Corvus for Sentinel. Uh, medium light medium is the way to go for Corvus and for anyone if you want to reduce the uh, analysis charges. So you don't repeat your uh, attacks. So that's what you want to do anyway. It just so happens that with Corvus, medium light medium is the preferred, uh, for the most part, the preferred rotation you know, for a fight like this, anyway. All right, so that's what you're gonna see me do. Medium, light, medium, parry, medium, light, medium. And you can see he's not gaining any analysis charges, okay? That's what you wanna do. And then he was waiting for me. Here we go, medium, light, medium. Now, if I have to bait out the special, all right, uh, I want you to watch, look at this. All right, he got some analysis charges because I had to evade uh, multiple times okay so that happens but medium light medium special he's done so he didn't gain a lot of uh, analysis charges now I can avoid getting analysis charges with his special one you have to evade do a light attack and then evade the rest of it takes a little bit of practice you can mess up but you can avoid the analysis charges or just block it get the analysis charges, and move on with your life. All right, so now this is the fight that I brought Omega Red in. Now, the reason that I was a little apprehensive is because I normally fight Korg with um, Havoc. I was the Korg killer for Map 7 in Alliance Quest, and I did it with Havoc all the time. Every path that had Korg, I got assigned to Havoc ripped him up. One special three was usually enough to finish the fight. You just got his uh, charges, uh, rock stacks down, hit him with a special three, done. Uh, Omega Red is also very good, especially when he's awakened. And you'll see uh, his tentacle attacks, he's not going to get any of that damage back. All right. And you can see here, I'm just getting the rock charges down. Look at that. Shield is already shattered. I fire off a heavy attack just to kind of lock in a few of the uh, charges. And he's just going down really quickly. Okay. This is going pretty well. All right. And then I fire off a special two to get my uh, death field back up. All right. Evade that special. Thank you, Dorky Diggity Dave. I watched one of his videos, and that's how I learned how to evade uh, Korg's special one. Because uh, I would get ate up by his special one all the time all right you see here he's almost gone he's almost gone boom and he's down all right so why did i say what i said earlier that's the last fight that i did for this war and the reason that i pointed out that i was the first one over is because of the time zone issue so i get over there and you can see i have no energy no one moves I go to sleep, I wake up, and I wake up pretty early, but not early enough. 
and I find that they have already cleared my path and are already either on Boss Island or they've already cleared everything. Sometimes that happens. And all while I'm asleep. So it was not my fault. You know, I know people are like, boy, that seemed like you're just being lazy in war. No, it's just a time zone thing. Not my fault. You know, I got in here. I got in here, um, you know, fairly quickly. Not not that quick uh, because I knew that they were not going to be uh, active around this time. But I try to make sure that I go before I go to bed. So I was able to get in, you know, clear that many at least. Sometimes when I wake up, they haven't gone yet. And you saw that in the last war. I was able to uh, fight more. And sometimes they haven't done the boss. And so I'm able to fight the boss if it's a boss that I could fight, you know. But you can see here, I didn't bring in Spider-Man 2099. So they just went ahead and handled uh, everything. All right. So we'll be back in a moment. And we'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and we won this war. Maybe I should uh, take a step back uh, more often. We, we seem to be winning. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Again, it wasn't my fault. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all. Have a blessed day.